Crafters, it's Cynthia. I am back today with another video and I thought that today I would do kind of a fun winter themed card. Um, so what I did is I looked in my stash and I found this fabulous stamp set, uh, the Winter Warmth Stamps and Dies from My Favorite Things. And there's a cute little selection of mittens and a hat and a scarf and some other winter themed items. So I'm going to use that and then I'm going to take a sentiment from the My Favorite Things Dear Friends stamp set and I'm going to use the Sending You Warm Wishes uh, sentiment. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, for my inks I'm going to use my Simon Says Stamp Audrey Blue ink and I'm going to use this beautiful um, Zing embossing powder and what is the name of this one? It's written somewhere <laughs> and I can't see it. Oh dear. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, it's a beautiful blue and here I'll take the lid off. But it's a really beautiful kind of a turquoise blue. And I'm going to use my Versamark ink, of course, for stamping and I'm going to treat my paper with my little heat emboss bag and then I'm using the Spellbinders Nestabilities Label 3 die set and I'm going to use the largest die and the second largest die to create a frame for what I'm doing. So let's just go ahead and get started with some stamping. What I'm going to do there's a couple different ways that I could do this. In this stamp set, you get the solid glove or mitten, excuse me, and then you get a decorative knit pattern to put on the mitten. Uh, and then there's a die for the mittens. So um, it just depends on how you want to do it. Um, it's a good question. I think I'm just going to. Stamp the little pattern of the mitten. So I'll stamp them together. And I'll treat my surface here just a bit. Hope I'm staying in, in frame for you here. I really need to get back into the swing of making videos more often. Um, I feel like I'm just letting everything else take over and I'm not carving out time for this. So anyway, um, let me go ahead and stamp this down. Just want to get a nice impression. And I do want to get the powder down as quickly as I can because I really, with something this detailed, I really want that powder to stick. So I'm actually going to uh, sprinkle some on and then just let it sit for a moment while that ink really grabs onto it. So see how sweet that is? It's like a little knit pattern there for the gloves. All right. And then in the same stamp set, there's a little, uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. There's a little string here that is meant to tie the two mittens together. So I also want to use that.
then for this, um, I'm actually going to heat it up from underneath the paper. And I like to do that if I have, like I said, a fine detail and I feel like that powder is just barely sticking to those fine lines. So if I put the tool on top, it's more likely to blow some of that away. So I'm actually going to heat it up and heat it from below. And you won't be able to see that, so <laughs> you'll have to hold on just a sec. All right, so see how pretty that is now that it's all melted and shiny? And I just feel like the powder melts also um, a little bit smoother when you do it below. For some reason, um, sometimes with certain powders, if I heat from the top, it looks bumpier. Um, but when I go from below, I get a little bit of a smoother finish. So I don't know if that's my imagination, but <laughs> I think it makes a difference. So let me go ahead and just trim this out. And then one of the things, this is a slightly older uh, set of stamps and dies from My Favorite Things. So the dies are actually solid. And the trouble with that is that, you know, like here's the hat and here's that detail. Well, you know, how exactly am I going to know since I can't see through the die? you know, where the best spot is. So what I have done for that is I have created this little template. And what I did is I just laid all the dies down on this one piece of a nice heavyweight, I think this is 100 pound basil cardstock. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay that template right over my stamped and embossed hat image. And this is gonna guide me because now I can put um, this die down right in there and it's not going to move at all. That's how I know that it's perfectly in the grooves of this template is that it won't move. And then I'm going to take a little piece of my painter's tape. I'm going to kind of get some of the sticky off. Now I just want to make sure that that tape is going to capture both the template, the die, and the paper I'm cutting. So in this way, I'm just going to go ahead and again with the mittens, use the template, lay it down um, for the little hat piece, you know, use the template, lay it down, run it through, and um, get all those pieces cut out in that fashion, and I'll be right back. All right, so here are all my little pieces cut out. And as you can see, I probably uh, could have done the hat just a tiny bit better, but it is close enough. And um, this one I wanted to be particularly careful with because the center of it is cut out. So this one came out really well. Um, now what I'm going to do is I have a piece here of the My Favorite Things Summer Splash cardstock, which is a really, really lovely color. And even though it doesn't exactly match the embossing powder, um, it definitely has that same tone, so they go together really well. So I'll set these aside for a moment. And now I'm going to get that Audrey Blue ink. And in the stamp set, you get this really pretty snowflake and then this little kind of a, um, I don't know what you want to call it, just a little, what the hell would you call that thing? <laughs> just kind of a little burst, a little starburst kind of shape, but um, I've cut this piece of paper to be just a little bit bigger than the die that I'm going to use. So I made sure that it wasn't going to be too small. And again, I'm going to just make kind of a little background pattern for myself. So this is going to be extremely random. And sometimes it's hard to not make a pattern. I suppose it'll end up looking a little more patterned. But regardless, I'm not being really, really particular here. And of course, the edges will be cut off. But I don't want to skimp. So let's see, I'll just do a little bit here, a little bit here, 
maybe a little extra there. Okay, I think that looks good. So now I'm gonna switch over to that little stamp and just do a lot of little filling in. And of course you could um, do this in any color that you want. So now I'm going to go ahead and pop this piece out with my die, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have this beautiful piece of doodle bug paper from their Polar Pals collection, and um, I just cut this out using both the largest and the second largest frames. And this piece here I can absolutely save and use for a different project. And now I'm left with this pretty little plaid frame. And I'm gonna get out that card base again. And of course it's just a side folding A2 card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. going to panic if it isn't 100% perfect. So that is good enough. Very, very cute. And then the final step for the embellishments is, of course, putting down the hat and gloves. So um, I definitely want to attach my little pom-pom to the top of my hat. Just use a little glue for that. And I think that since I since my background is flat, I think I can pop up my little embellishments here. That is awfully cute. And now for a quick sentiment, I'm going to get out that uh, Dear Friend stamp set that I showed you earlier. And I'm going to use the Sending You Warm Wishes. And I will often do this. I'll take um, the sentiment and just stamp it down and then trim after the fact to get just the size and shape I want. And um, I'm not going to heat emboss this sentiment in that pretty powder uh, because it's extremely similar to the cardstock color and it would be difficult to read. So I'm just going to use the darker um, Audrey Blue There you go. And Simon Says Ink is absolutely lovely. It's a highly pigmented ink. It's just beautiful. Um, but one little thing about it is that um, it tends to, when it's wet, it'll stamp a little splotchy. But then 
as it settles into the card stock and dries, it becomes completely smooth and uniform. And the other thing is that it actually stays just a tiny bit damp for a while. So even though it isn't a pigment ink, um, it doesn't dry completely instantly. <laughs> you have to give it a little bit of time. All right, so now that that's stamped, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim down this piece just visually. I'm not worrying about numbers or anything like that. I just want it to look nice. So about here. And I don't know if I'm going to flag the ends or not. Maybe I will. It just depends. This side isn't straight. There. So that's just a super simple rectangle. Sometimes simplicity is best. So what do you think? Flat or popped up sentiment? Hmm. I kind of like it flat actually. So this time I will use some tape. Gosh, I have all this flaky glue bits. I apologize for the mess. Oh wait, here I have this. these beautiful Nouveau glitter drops. This is called Aquatic Mist. I've been collecting. I do have all the glitter ones now, so that's exciting. But I um, just want to think. I think I'm just going to kind of accent the background here. Um, so I'm not trying to make little droplets. I have found that with the glitter drops, when you spread it out more, um, I think it looks better. Um, when you try to make a nice dimensional dot, um, you lose kind of the sparkle in it. So there's a little bit of sparkle there, which I think is really pretty. And I don't know about other dots. I'm hesitant. <laughs> hmm. What should I do, kids? What should I do? I mean, goodness, there's all kinds of options here. Um, maybe I'll do like little lines here at the edge of my sentiment strip. That'll kind of help it be jazzed up. So that looks kind of cute. And what else should I do? Um, all right, I will do some dots just because. And these again, I'm just going to kind of focus more whoops, on sparkle as opposed to making really big droplets. So I'm kind of spreading them out a little bit. There. Oh, that looks really sweet. Cute. So there we go. There's a simple, sparkly, embossed um, card <laughs> that you can send to anyone for any occasion, really. Sending you warm wishes applies to all different sorts of things. Uh, you could send this card just as a greeting to someone to say hello or you could turn it into a holiday card or anything that you want. So I hope you enjoyed this little project. It was actually quite easy and I just was going through some things that I had in my stash and um, when I saw that stamp set and the dies, um, I just got all excited thinking about sweaters and cold weather and snow and all of that stuff. So um, I just really wanted to use it. So I hope that you guys are having fun wherever you are and that you're getting a chance to play with your own crafts. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click like. I would appreciate that very much. And um, thank you for taking the time to watch this. So I'll see you all again real soon. Bye-bye.